You see, one thing that I know about life is that people will be who they are. And that saves me from a lot of headaches because I always look at the psychology of things and of what is happening and of where people are acting from. You know that for the past couple of months, not a couple of months, if you, for, for some months now, we've been having the issue with pastors in Nigeria and seeing that the thing with religion is a big problem because people are not thinking straight. And I started talking about it on this channel, expressing my disappointments and hoping that people would be able to actually come out of the blindfold so that we can tackle the issues that we have in our country because the ideas that religion plants in people's minds makes people to not force the officials to take accountability or responsibility for their actions because people are taught that they can just sit back and pray and we've been praying for it's been over 70 years right how old is nigeria we've been praying for how long now and nothing is happening and these people keep on telling you and recently they talked about praying that they're doing a, a, a prayer and fasting time and we know that all that talk is what has been happening all these years and there has been no change and yet those of us who are telling people to stop listening to what these pastors are saying i am beginning to say now that come on guys doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is what the very definition of madness so now why don't we look at it this way these people that you're talking to after showing them everything that their so-called pastors have been doing and they haven't they're not relenting in the worshiping of their pastors and in seeing them as being infallible what they're doing shows that you have shown people the light you have shown them here this is what is happening and they still refuse to accept it but at the same time isn't that the same thing that we're doing that's the same thing that we're doing when we keep on telling them the same thing over and over and over why are we now continuing to, to flog a dead horse so i no longer want to be part of it we woke up this weekend to see the olumba olumba people and them still believing that their Ulumba is God, that that is God, that he's the infinite. Look at all the things and all the posts that people are. You know, at first, you will think that when you start talking about it, that you might wake them up and then they will start to think. But look at what they're saying. They're, they're saying these things in response to what people are saying, telling them, how can you be worshipping another person, another human being? And people are coming out to say directly, yes, I'm worshipping another human being. And I know that he's the, he's the God, he's my God, he's my this, he's my rock and my salvation. So look at what this person is saying. It says, imagine if there was social media during the time of our Lord Jesus Christ. A whole lot would have happened and so many would have doubted his divinity. His pictures with sinners would have been circulated everywhere. Many would have been blacklisted. Social media influencers would have carried the story of Mary Magdalene and that woman caught in adultery to all platforms. His response to that thief on the cross would have been made a caption like, a friend of a thief is a thief. Saying he is the living bread that comes from heaven would have become a content to many content creators. Knowing his family background and his birth, maybe they would have called him Agege or Jumbo Bread. Saying he will destroy the temple and build it in three days would have been a different story to tag him a madman. But that wouldn't have changed the power of his divinity and potency. He remained who and what he is. He is what he is till today. This generation and the power of social media can never stop him, even his glory and reign. He is that same Christ of yesterday, today and forever, with a new name, His Holiness Ulumba Ulumba Obu, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. His kingdom is unshakable. And she signs it, I remain proudly Ulumba's diamond daughter. So this is what they are saying in response to you trying to tell them that this person is not God. So go figure. At that point, don't you realize that if you continue to, these people are, there is no redemption. And so if we continue to talk to them, continue to try to pull them back to say we're pulling the wool back from their eyes, it means that there is also no redemption for us because we're stubborn. We're just as stubborn as they are. We're suffering the same thing as they're suffering. So I say, let us take the log out of our own eyes. We haven't done that. If we haven't stopped bothering these people to, to stop doing what they're doing, why are we expecting that they will change? You see, the truth is people are who they are. This is the clear example of what I've been saying, that the way that your mind is, is the way that it is. That's because your brain has been structured, formed over the years to thinking that way. 
of course some, from time to time there are changes because there are some people that have been pulled out of those evil churches yes and they begin they've begun now to see life the way life really is but all in all let's not be too hopeful when we're doing these things and in fact as a matter of fact if you're doing this thing and it just looks like you're making no headway you should begin to think of adopting a different system a different approach to getting your message across and the thing is the main reason why those of us who speak against this thing speak against them is not because we want to bash pastors or churches or religion it is just because we're seeing the effects on the country and that is affecting all of us so when people say religion is not an issue in this country it's almost laughable because they they are just being stubborn and that's because their brains have decided to limit themselves to what they what they are with their thinking capacity right now so it is for us to understand that since what is important to us is changing this country or changing the country we have to if we're serious about what we're thinking we have to think of adopting different ways of uh solving our issues we cannot now think i mean the thing is the majority of the populace is in this blindfold and that is why it's been concerning but we now have to realize and recognize and tell ourselves the truth that that isn't going to change overnight it's going to take so long before there is a change so let's um, recalibrate our approach and think of a different way that we can approach solving our problems without relying on the majority of the populace we have to do this thing without the majority of the populace so let us stop leave these people to um, you can talk about it from time to time but I say let us stop looking like we're antagonizing pastors and churches because actually um we will get these people to begin to see us as enemies and we'll also begin to see them as i don't even know what to say but my my response usually is when i see that people are stubborn in the way that they're going like a he goes that decides that it's going to go through this uh, ticketing fence and, and starts to get its horns locked in there and it keeps going back there keeps going back there i think that that is just foolishness so for me all I will do is now I will be laughing because it's actually also comical. Some of the things that these people are posting. I mean, look at this. Look at real life human beings. And but one other thing that it has um, it has done that I think is very positive is that it has shown me what I am dealing with in this world. And those of us who understand this and think like this, it shows us what we're dealing with. And so for the rest of us, when we are going out and we're dealing with people in this world, let us begin now to remember that not everybody that you are seeing has the gray matter some so for some people it's actually s-h-i-t that has been that has replaced the gray matter and so when you're dealing with people and that's actually the reason why sometimes in the things that have happened in the past when you dealt with people and you just could not understand this person's reasoning and they were just they seemed like they're so unreasonable this is what it is majority of people are thinking in a way that you wouldn't even ordinarily believe so going forward you should know that is why sometimes when you have conversations with people and you think that they're going to honor their word, they're going to they're going to put their their money where their mouth is and they turn around and disappoint you. This is the reason you're getting disappointed because you really didn't know that this is how too many people are. Too many people are just not really reasonable. That is what it is. So if anything, I am glad to have now come to this understanding. And in fact, instead of questioning these people, I am questioning myself. How did it take me all these years to now know, to just now be knowing that this is what we have in this world? This is what we should be concerned about. Instead of us being concerned about these people, let's be asking ourselves, how did it take us all this time to come to know that this is what we are dealing with in this world? We're dealing with mass stupidity. That is what it is.